Ron Chanson Simmons, the academic guru and leading authority on student improvement, as well as the creator of the Play Your A Game academic success system. Today, I want to personally welcome you to raise your grades in seven days. Now, whether you are a middle school student, high school student, college student, returning adult student, or even a parent, this video training course is designed to help you succeed academically wherever you are right now. You know, in my lifetime, I've spent more than 25 years in school. Yes, my mom boop, popped me right out and she sent me to pre-K. I was there for five years, elementary school for seven years, went to high school for another five years, went to college to get a BS degree for four years, and then later on got two more Master's of Science degrees, another four years in grad school, and I spent 25 years there in an academic institution, and because of that, I was so blessed to receive three scientific college degrees with honors, and I didn't pay a single penny to. And I later on had a great science career, working jobs at Mobile Chemical Company, NASA Research Center, and SEBA Vision. And because of my academic career and my scientific career, people will always ask me how I was able to do what I did academically and how I was able to do what I did in my career. And I just started the last 10 years creating books and courses and speaking on stages and creating programs just like these to help students and families just like you. So welcome to Raise Your Grades in seven days. Now, in this video course, every single day, I'm going to give you a video tip or something that you can practically do to improve where you are right now as a student. We're going to talk about your learning style. We're going to talk about how you learn information the best and what you can do to improve your study skills. We're going to talk about when to study because you never know. Um, maybe they know that there is a right time for you to study. And in this right time is when you find yourself being more productive, more alert, and you'll be able to retain more information. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about how to prepare for tests and how to succeed and ace your tests every single time, and even give you some things that you can do to be more productive inside the classroom as well as outside the classroom. So every single day, I will be giving you a finger tip over the next seven days because I have seven fingers. Of course, I'm the coolest guy with seven 0.25 fingers. I was born with a birth defect and I just learned how to take my mess and turn it into my success. So that's why I call this course Raise Your Grades in Seven Days. Actually, I could have called it Raise Your Grades in 7.25 Days. Maybe I'll give you a few bonuses and that will represent the nub. Here we are at day one. Here's your fingertip for today. Take control of your day by taking control of your hour. You see, a lot of times people want to talk about time management, but I feel like time management, it is so fake. You really can't manage time, but what you really can manage is yourself. Think about it for a second. You have 24 hours of the day. I have 24 hours of the day. Your friends, your teachers, your colleagues have 24 hours of the day. We can't add to that and we can't take away from it. So how can you really manage time? What I, what I like to say is this. You can't manage time, but you can manage yourself. If you're going to have a productive school year, if you're going to have the best grades ever, you want to make sure that you take control of your day by taking control of your time. And what I want to give you is five things that you can practically do to take better control of your time. Here's number one. Recognize the importance and value of 60 minutes. Time cannot be regained once it's lost or misused. However, the well use of time can produce a day of joy and sense of accomplishment. Yes, recognize the importance of 60 minutes. Think about it for a second. You have 60 minutes to get things done. In those 60 minutes, you can read a chapter in your book. In those 60 minutes, you can write a part of your book report. In those 60 minutes, you can do your homework. But what happens when you don't realize how important the 60 minutes is? What would normally take 20 to 30 minutes now takes an hour and a half. Reading one chapter, which could take 40 minutes, 
will now take two days. Or writing a book report, the first draft, which could take potentially 40 minutes, now takes the entire weekend. So recognize the importance of 60 minutes. That's the first thing. The second thing that you can do is to detail and plan every minute of your hour. Yes, detail and plan every minute of your hour. Think about it this way. If you want to have a successful school year, it starts with having a successful hour. If you want to have a successful day, it starts with having 24 successful hours. If you want to have a successful week, you must have seven successful days. If you want to have a successful month, it will take four to five successful weeks. If you want to have a successful year, you must first have, what, 12 successful months. So if you want to have a successful school year, it starts with the 12 months, the weeks, the days, the hours. Here's the third thing you can do to take control of your day is to identify time wasters and alleviate them. The number one cause of time wasters is distraction. The number one reason people don't focus is because of distraction. Think about it for a second. What is stopping you on an ongoing basis? What's distracting you? Is it the television? Is it Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest? Is it your cell phone? Is it your friends? Is it the noise in your house? Is it the traffic around your study area? I need you to start thinking about this day and this hour and begin to eliminate all of your time wasters. What acts in your day are stealing your time and making your day unfruitful? Is it the TV? Is it because you're daydreaming? Is it certain people? Or is it the internet? Whatever it may be, make the adjustment and either cancel it or schedule it on purpose in your hourly schedule. The third thing you can do to take control of your day is to stay focused on hourly agendas that you have set. Now, we talked about 60 minutes. That's one hour. Can you practically set an agenda, a goal for 60 minutes? Let's say, for example, if you have homework in your math class. Set the agenda to only study math for the next 60 minutes. Focus all on math. Zoom in on math. That's your agenda. Maybe you want to set the agenda to review your notes in your science class. The only thing you do is review those notes. So whatever you plan on doing for an hour, set the agenda. Whether it is reading, whether it is looking at your notes, whether it is going over problems, whether it's talking to a friend, whether it's sleeping, whether it's eating, I want you to get in the habit of setting an agenda for the hour and making sure that you use everything you practically can to master that hour and stay focused. If you plan to study in that hour, study. If you plan to be in class, be fully attentive in class. If you plan to socialize, socialize. Whatever you plan to do in the hour, apply discipline and focus and stick with it. Here's the fifth thing you can do to take control of your hour is to win at the present hour. Perform the previous four steps for every present hour of the day and then do the same for your next week, your next month. And ultimately, that will help you have a successful school year. So if you want to take control of your hour, start with those 60 minutes. Plan those 60 minutes. Set an agenda for those 60 minutes. Focus in on those 60 minutes and get the job done. That's your day one tip to raise your grades in these next seven days. And remember this, there's only one game in life that counts, and that's your A game.